Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda. Today I'm here with my pan and every pan challenge update or project update. Um, at the beginning of the year, I chose the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette to try to hit pan in every matte shade in this palette. So there are 20 mattes or mattes with shimmer in here, and there's also a black eyeshadow. I could use the same black eyeshadow for the rest of my life and probably never hit pan in it. I just don't use black eyeshadow that often, so I'm not trying to hit pan in that one, but 19 other shades. And I might have bit off more than I could chew. This is not going to be as easy as I... I didn't think it was going to be easy, but there are a lot of neutral shades in here that I can wear with a lot of other palettes. So we're going to we're gonna see how it goes. It's only been a month and there is a little bit of progress. So let's get to the update. All right, there's no way to show this to you without spoiling something. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the palette. I do have pan in this shade right here. This is called Truffles. And it's one of those mattes with glitter. I find that in general, these matte with mattes with glitter shades are generally softer than a lot of the other matte shadows. They're just, I don't know, maybe they're not pressed as firmly. Maybe the glitter requires the formula to be softer. I don't know. But I have found that with multiple mattes with glitters, uh, they're, I don't want to say easy to hit pan on because this did take over a month, <laughs> but they seem to move faster than some other shades. So when I saw that I was getting, you know, a decent sized dip in this shade, I definitely kept kept going on it. I'm gonna have to try to insert better pictures. You really won't be able to see from this, from this at all, other than this one has pan, but there is a decent dip in trip. There is noticeable use in Lux. You can kind of see that. And then the other shade that I've been using a lot, which you really can't tell at all, is um, <laughs> Stranger and Enigma. And I have been using them very, very regularly, but you, you cannot tell at all. I'm happy to have Pan in one thing for the first update. I really did not think that was going to be the case, especially after I started using this and realized, oh why. <laughs> a lot. So I'm really happy to have Pan in this. One down, 18 to go, I think. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I like this shade. The mattes with glitter, I just use them as mattes. You can barely see the glitter, so it's, I don't know why it's in there, but you can just kind of blend away any glitter shade, or I just cover it up with a shimmer shade. It's fine. So I'm definitely not going to focus on this shade, but I'm sure I will use it. I do enjoy the shade, this neutral color works with so many things that it's an easy shade to use anyway. Uh, but I just, I definitely want to not, I definitely want to focus on other things instead because my goal is to hit pan. I've done that. I want to move on and hit pan something else. I think the next, the next thing that is close is trip, which I can use literally every single day. Can you, you can't see that. Oh, you can, can you see the, the indent there? That's probably the best way you're gonna see it, honestly. Uh, so that one is the next, the next goal is gonna be trip. I feel like that's very doable because I use the shade almost every single day. And then the other, the next matte with glitter that I wanna work on is maybe this one right here for granite. It's got some pinky shimmer in it, but, or glitter. I guess it's shimmer, it's not glitter, but micro glitter i don't know maybe that's be the one that i focus on next because i i definitely haven't used this side of the palette as much as i've used this mainly these three rows especially so we'll see we'll see this red rumor mill shade is also very pigmented that's going to be almost as hard as me trying to finish a black <laughs> also drama mama any of these very very dark shades they're very pigmented which is great not if you're trying to use a lot of it though. So that's my first update. This is a short video, but there's not a lot to talk about. I guess I could tell you how many times I've used each shade. But I didn't look that up. I'm trying to keep track on my spreadsheet, but it's each time I've used that shade, not each dip into the pan. So it's, you know, sometimes I use a shade three times 
per eye, but I just count it as one use, like one day of use, you know? I don't feel like I want to change that. It says bite a kneecap, by the way. I don't, I guess it just says bite a, it says bite a kneecap. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're doing a pan and every pan, no pan left behind, what's it called? I don't know. There's probably a cuter name for it. And someone told me last time and I can't remember what it is. Let me know how your progress is going. I would love to hear all about it. And uh, I'm excited to, to carry on. When I saw that first pan, I thought, Okay, this is the hope I needed to keep going. Because for a few weeks I was thinking, did I did I do this wrong? <laughs> this, this, this is gonna be lots. You know, I have to hit pan in more than one shade per month for a while <laughs> to to meet my goal. So we're gonna we're gonna do our best. You know, if nothing else, oh, we got a ton of use out of this palette, and I do enjoy using this palette. It's very easy for me to grab and use with just about anything. I'm wearing it today with just the Kindness Super Shock Shadow. It's a very quick and easy look, um, but I still think that it looks nice. Sometimes you want that, you know? So thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have any video suggestions or like YouTube short suggestions for older palettes you wanna see, leave those in the comments, that would be great. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.